Well, the uh, idea for the gallery started back in June and uh, we uh, contacted the owner of the building and actually we were just looking for a space to have a show and uh, uh, we um, brought the idea together with the owner to put together a gallery and uh, studios and he really quite quite liked it and um, so we started uh, renovating in uh, July, August, and hi Norm, <laughs> um, and uh, got to this point. It was quite a, a mess in here when we when we started, but uh, I had an awful lot of help to pull together, and um, it seemed to work out quite well. Uh, this is well the basic entrance, and so this is the entry into the gallery, and it actually is a part of the gallery and uh, I have one of my paintings over here on the left and Maggie Cole is over here so this is the main gallery area it's about, I'd say, about 200, uh, 300 square feet, possibly. And um, this used to be a, a dance hall. Actually, it was originally made as a dance hall. And uh, for the last 25 years or so, there were some accountants in here. So we had to uh, do quite a bit of work, just kind of pulling this apart and uh, getting the lighting in. And uh, it just seems to work as a gallery, especially for big pieces. Uh, basically, we're going to rent uh, rent the the walls to artists and uh, for two hundred dollars a week. And um, I just contact Maggie Cole if you're an artist, and contact Maggie Cole, and uh, we'll just sit down with you and uh, see you know, see what we can do. Uh, we have a show uh, starting November 1st, going to the middle of November. Uh, but after that, it's fairly open, I think, until about February. And, and uh, we have a few people in February and March next year committed to uh, shows. And we're mostly uh, into abstract painting. Uh, but we, uh, this, you know, we're into other things as well, just kind of like kind of conceptual work and quirky work, sculpture. Uh, you know, see how it unfolds, basically. What we're starting now is uh, our our studios. This is my studio in in here, and it's become actually whoop, it's become part of the gallery for for this show. We go down the hallway. And uh, these are some of the acknowledge acknowledgements here. Um, might be good to put your camera on there because uh, these are really the people that are responsible for getting the gallery to the point it's at. I had an awful lot of help. So it was great. And across the hall is uh, Maggie Cole's studio. You can check that out. Uh, this is one. This is actually one of her studios, a smaller studio. She's got st two studios here. And one of Meadows' pieces. And one of Maggie's pieces up here on our. And Linda McEwen is in this space. She's the uh, she's the artist that is into color and squares. Her work uh, follows color theory quite uh, quite closely. And down the hallway we have more Maggie Cole. 
it's quite a, a, a nice large studio. Do you want to go inside there? You can pick up some of her, uh, pick up some of her small works. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And these works up here on this this wall are are really interesting. Right up here. I think these are some new works of hers. She's quite diverse. She works in these, these small uh, pieces as well as very large pieces. And up the home. And again, we have some more Maggie Cole right at the end. This, this piece uh, really fits right at the end of the hallway here somehow. The rest of it is uh, uh, washrooms and the kitchen area. It was almost, it almost felt when I walked in here as it was set up for an art gallery, even though there was a, a, accountants had been working here. So it's got a gentleman's washroom and a woman's washroom and the kitchen in here with a, a sink that looks like it was made for art, an art uh, studio. So it really quite works. And then over here, uh, we have this uh, hundred-year-old safe that was that was in here when we moved in, and we found the uh, combination for it. And uh, so there it sits. So we just don't know what the heck to do with it. <laughs> the biggest acknowledgement here should go to the owner of the building because uh, he is. Uh, given us this building at a really low rate. Um, just, you know, over the next next year or so anyway, um, they are going to be tearing the building down at some point. Now, we have it until next summer, uh, but we could have it possibly a year, possibly a two years later. Depends on when the owner decides, you know, when the market is right to, uh, to tear this down and build up something else. I suppose it's going to be a condo development or something like that. And it's my understanding he had a number of offers, uh, you know, from various companies to come in here, but uh, he, he uh, chose our uh, proposal. Uh, and I just happened to like it. Both his parents were artists, and uh, uh, I think he's convinced that we can, uh, you know, really do something good here for the, at least for the community, and uh, so we're we're quite happy.